for the advisor that's watching this podcast right now, right? They might have a demographic that they want to serve, right? They might be thinking about an unconventional business model. What pieces of advice can you give for them so that they can feel confident in how they choose to grow their business? I would say the the biggest thing is, you know, understand where where you are getting the the idea for changing or doing your unconventional thing from Um, and then nail down the numbers. One thing that I did not do well was really understand like everybody kept saying you can't do it. And I was just like, I know you can do it. Um, But it was really hard, like I said, to figure out how you can do it and to get the numbers to match up. And so initially I was just out here, you know, like I remember my first thing that I tried was like six hundred and seventy five dollars and then one hundred dollars a month. Um, I was never going to be profitable. I would have been serving a million people and making $60,000. Like it was just, you know, that's not the real math, but um, you know, it just wasn't a, the, the right model. So really spending some time on understanding like what your needs are, what your goals, your aspirations are for yourself. Um, and then kind of backing into it, but then also realizing that people will pay, you know, whatever those numbers are. So the other thing that I bumped into quite a bit was like, oh, you know, people can't pay $1,500. Like I want to make it accessible. Like, because accessibility was the thing I was passionate about. I was like, well, what if they can't like people will pay the amount when they're serious about it. And there are 330 million people in America. There are more than enough that will be able to afford your fee, um, take it seriously, that are a good personality fit for you um, and that you can provide a lot of value to.